I'm going to show you today how we did the fee measurement on a VP44. As you can see, our pump's not completed yet. So a roller and shoe will go in each of those three spots where those tangs are. And those are them right there. So to do my fee measurement, I have to do it on each cylinder. And this is a six cylinder. So I take one shoe and roller. Now I've got to stick it in there. So now that it is in place, I have to put my adapter in. And you have to line up You gotta line those tangs up to fit inside that cross shaft at the end. So, this should slide in now. A little percussive persuasion. And we tighten it down with these thumb screws. What we're basically doing here is we're putting the one roller in. We're going to put this dial indicator on, and that's going to tell it. We have to manually program it and tell it where we get one millimeter of lift. Thank Darla for her handy dandy hair tie she left behind for us. So, what the Test stand wants me to do is rotate this around 360 degrees and make sure that my dial indicator is moving. So that is the plunger moving, or the roller, moving up and down on the cam ring. So once it's happy that I've went 360 degrees, that'll turn green at the top. And now I can start. So what I got to do is I got to find my zero position. My hair tie likes to pop off. So there's my zero. I adjust my dial indicator. And then I go all the way one time around and that's one millimeter of lift. So, once I'm here, I hit F5 to start and that's my reference point. And now what I have to do is keep going to the next one. I gotta zero it every time And like that time, I went a little too far, so I'm going to go back and come back. There's my zero. One turn. 
FF2. And that tells me the degrees difference between those two. So we're compensating for variations in the cam. So I'll continue that. I'll do it five more times. And uh, once that's programmed, it'll be ready to finish assembling the pump, put my head in, attach my solenoids, and then we'll be good to go.